Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode powered by Hayabusa is part one of a two part series, which is about changing angles with your strikes in order to get the big knockouts. All right, in today's episode, it's gonna be part one in a two part series about changing angles with your strikes. Every time we learn to strike, we learn our traditional punches, the jab, the cross, the hook on this angle, the proper uppercut, which is important to learn the technical aspect of the strike. But as we get more advanced, as we start fighting, you'll start realizing it's these off angle shots, the more untraditional ones, the not textbook ones that will get you the big knockout. Think about it too, when you learn defense, your partner is practicing throwing your traditional punches. So all of a sudden you're in a fight now and all these weird angles are coming at you, it becomes very difficult to defend. That's why they're more successful when you throw them. So let's get into it and let's start discussing how we kind of do this with our boxing. Part two is we're gonna talk about how we do it with our legs, which is my specialty. So let's get into how we kind of break it down. Now when I talk about changing angles, I'll break down the three traditional ones we learn. Okay, we got the jab, the cross, and the hook. Well, when it comes to the jab, right, you want to always throw the traditional first. Get your opponent or your partner comfortable. So with Matt shelled up here, I'll throw my traditional jab. Now he's good blocking this way. He might use a parry to block it on the outside. He might move his head, right? He's using different types of defense. Okay. Now all of a sudden, once I'm here, he thinks that that's where I'm going to go. So he might parry, he might use a, a, a form of head movement. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into an up jab. Boom, I change the angle. Next time I might come here and I might throw a more of a traditional round hook. Okay. So this is the whole idea. So the main ones that I like to do off of the jab would be I throw my traditional horizontal straight. Okay, an off angle one that I like is fainting with my rear side, and this is my vertical up jab, right? So when I'm off here, my head is offline, and now another terminology for this would be a low line jab. So from here, as I move my head, my hand comes slightly down, and I bring this up jab variation, okay? That low line jab, why it's so successful, I just brought punches here. So the eye line now is here. So when I come here, their eye line is still picturing here and then I can go right underneath and that's what hides the shot which makes it successful okay so again I have my traditional my loaded up jab now sometimes here I might get a nice shell here and what I'm gonna do is almost throw like a, a variation jab where I just come around it's more of what I call a cut down jab boom okay it's not a hook but it's not really a jab it's an off variation a traditional hook would be here a jab would be here I just throw a nice little variation which I like to call my cut down jab so the easiest way to demo it from here is if I punch vertical like my overhand I bring my thumb down on my jab boom okay and that kind of hides me here I come around so I can throw traditional my up jab and then that cut down jab that I like to do on the left side all right so those are all options off of the jab now when it comes to the cross similar examples right so I'll throw my traditional here now from this side obviously one of my favorite positions I'll turn you for it why it's so successful is here bang I get a nice block here now when I change the angle to make it successful I'm gonna aim for here now one of the, the biggest tips I can give you for the overhand is stop making them so big and loopy. They need to be tighter, so they've got to be small. So I like to come here with a small little arc, and I put my thumb between the forearm and the bicep. No matter how tight this angle is, no matter how sharp he is, big glove or small glove, I'm going to be able to split and get through that guard. So nice here, shoom, right? thumb right through and look how my hand penetrates that guard very easily all right so i'll throw my traditional one here and then i throw that nice overhand off of that position now say for example my opponent is very square maybe they're fighting here another good variation for me is i'll throw my traditional and then i use a little bob in my legs to lower my base now when i come here this creates a low line boom up rear hand okay so I throw my traditional maybe throw a little bob as a feint and as I feint from here I use my legs and I drive up and I come through bang and I drive it so it's like a modified straight mixed with an uppercut a shovel shot so it's that little variations that'll be successful so boom use that bob here bang 
use my legs to be able to generate. Almost like an uppercut, but bang, you're falling through on that up angle, all right? So you have your traditional, bang. I could even change angles by going to the body. Now he anticipates the body. I build in that bob feint. Boom, come up the middle. He anticipates the middle now, bang, I come around. So you can see my traditional strength wasn't as successful because he was able to block it. But after I threw it, I established a nice pillar, and then from there I work around it. Boom, I go there. I went through here. I bobbed and came through here. Even better now, I could mix in my other hand. At the same time, I got my up jab, my cut down. Boom. So now, all of a sudden, both sides are going crazy, and you can't defend them. Now, the last variation we'll do, I'll go back here, will be my left hook. The left hook is the money shot when it comes to the angle changes, right? One, you can play with tempo, rhythm, but when I talk angle changes, okay, we know our traditional hook, okay? Easier to block. Remember that whole concept I said about getting the thumb through? Same thing happens with the cut down lead hook. So I can throw a traditional and then look. Boom, look at that hook right inside, bang. And I can throw it very close, boom. I don't even have to pivot much, right here. Bang, cut through. So traditional into a cut down, I can load. Now from here, I can go round to the body or I can go more shovel to the liver. That's my option. So that's how I play with the different hooks. So I can go traditional hook, chopping hook, round hook, shovel hook, all different variations. So once you've established all the different angles that you can throw from the strikes, this is when you start getting creative. So with the combinations, I can throw a bunch of traditional ones here and then boom, change the angle. One, two, one, all of a sudden, boom, change the angle. One, two, one, boom, change the angle. One, two, three, change the angle. One angle changes, one angle changes, all right? So those angle changes, keeps your opponent guessing, they have no idea what shot's coming. Especially when you mix them with the traditional straights, that's where you get your best benefit, all right? So this is part one, changing angles with your boxing. You can see how effective it is. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the, the, the video, you learn how to block traditional strikes. It's very rare you practice blocking big overhands, odd angled shots. Since you don't do that very often, that's what you wanna do to your opponents. Mix them up, hide them behind traditionals. Bang, 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 boom. Touch, 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 cut down. And then there, you'll get your big finishes, all right? Stay tuned for part two next week, and this is where we can start developing angles with the legs. Very important, okay? Hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you keep liking, subscribing, and sharing Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. And don't forget to support the channel by supporting our sponsors. First, we got Hayabusa by going to Hayabusa Fight, linked below. We have Perfect Sports Nutrition using code Bazooka20. We'll get you 20% off your supplements. As I keep mentioning, my branch chains, my proteins, and the Alter State pre-workout are my daily staples. And last but not least, we have bazookatraining.com where you get brand new videos every single Monday taught by me for less than $10 a month, plus an archive library of over 300 videos, home workouts, sparring drills, bag workouts, everything there for you. Like I said, for that cheap price to get brand new videos every single week, you'll see your martial arts level increase. All right, hope you enjoyed today's episode. We'll see you next time here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Valtellini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach Bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. 
And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.